Yep, so this is the fire. It's been on for about a minute. Glows lovely and red. Working out some heat. You may be able to hear it. Starts making this spluttering sound. And then after about 30 seconds it dies. Yep, and there it dies. You have to turn it off. Take this cartridge out. Put it back in again. Engage it again. Not burning your finger like I nearly done then. And then there's a choke on the side. You pull the choke out and twist this. Then it starts up lovely again. Or sometimes or it started doing it already straight away so as you can see it's pretty pointless really you're going to turn it off <coughs> yeah so I'm now gonna actually stop using this it doesn't matter about having gas canisters because I can use that with my gas stove. So they're not going to go to waste. I'll probably sell this on eBay. And I've bought a 500 watt inverter. So I can run 240 volt stuff off of it. And I'm buying for £20 a low wattage 400 watt oil filled radiator little tiny one about five fins and it won't be that much bigger than this fire itself a little bit taller but about the same width and length from that so and then i haven't got to worry about carbon dioxide then either which is a good thing as this seems a little bit temperamental we'll go fast around corners it starts bleeping at me so I'm a bit worried about whether that's giving me a true reading as well. So, yeah, I'm going to stop using this, get rid of this. I will do a full review on it and review it as, as you can tell, it was quite a rubbish item. The person that I bought, the company that I bought it off on Amazon, they, I'll, I'll put even put their name in. Tried to tell me that there was nothing wrong with it. There's nothing to go wrong with it. And tried to tell me that all I needed to do was heat up the canisters in some hot water. Which means put the canisters into my stove. Run my stove, which then seems to run fine anyway. Heat up some water. Put the canisters in warm water. And then put it in this. So it just seems a lot of faffing around for something when you just want some instant heat quickly just to keep the chill off things in here so yeah that's all just a quick little one today just show um, my trials and tribulations on my heater and i will when i'm editing all this together i will put up in the top right hand corner now the oil filled radiator that i'm getting from home base so thank you very much and until next time peeps please like subscribe and comment below and goodbye